Next we'll see sheet metal validation settings. Under sheet metal validation parameters we have two uh, parameters minimum tool clearance and minimum web length. Minimum tool clearance is that minimum rate is given to a punch feature when it's very close to the uh, bending feature and minimum web length is if there are two opposite bend features what should be the gap of the web it's mainly used for uh, validating a, a product in HD 3D tools for that click on this information check uh, then you can see checkmate double click checkmate then you need to enter the setup test select the current part current part and to define the uh, test parameters under sheet metal we have already two validation uh, sheet metal validation parameters one is check web length and other one is check tool clearance click on check web length and add it to the chosen test same for do the same for check tool clearance also then click close run the test and you can see that it has passed the check web length but it has failed the tool clearance since it's very close the minimum clear radius should be five so it has to move a little this side on the left hand side to to pass the test assume that we have so many features like this in the part and it's uh, not a good practice to have uh, a feature which is having very less uh, tool clearance next under the par parameters can delete the result flat pattern display uh, this is used uh, to just to differentiate different features once the flat pattern is created you have a um, each color assigned to each of the curves I'll explain you once you select all the uh, features and set a different if you want to change the color you can click here and ch click on the color uh, icon and change the color I am keeping all the colors as a default and click OK So you can see that exterior is blue and we have bent up center as brown and interior feature as uh, this color medium indigo like that once you set all this uh, um, colors you can easily identify what are the features after a flat pattern is created